uh, the, the the first page you know should really be uh, should really be a quick glance of the performance um you know how are we doing compared to you know certain um compared to plan and so on and you know the the breakdowns and the most important information so that's why on the first page uh i would also recommend to uh Enable a couple of filters. All right. Instead of, you know, having all of those countries here, um, you know, and do the drill downs and everything here on the very first page. OK, I would put uh, I would just limit this to uh, like a top. Let's let's just say top N, for example, countries. Let's just have like 15 countries. OK. And that's it, you know. So, so you basically just need, you know, your 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 most, uh, you know, your top countries. You know, it's the eighty twenty rules. You know, uh, you will have the most important data here on top. Sort it, you know, sort it to make sure that you know the first, second, third, fourth uh, row are really the most important ones uh, that people will see. And and that's it for the first page, right? So. Of course, if people will want to now understand, okay, what's going on in 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 the in the UK, for example? Why is this, you know, below the plan? Okay, of course, now you need to build something else. Okay, what will you build? You will build a new page, a new detailed page, and make sure that people can actually navigate from from uh, the first landing page to uh, the details uh, to the page with the details. Okay, so what I'll do here is now I'll just copy my my pivot table here. I'll just copy it to my next page like here. Let's go home here and uh, yeah, and now on my on this page, I will add um, again, I'll just copy my my pivot table. Uh, and this time, I'll drop more information into my pivot table much more actually so i'll just drop my countries and then uh, customers right so it's a lot of information here and insert a zebra bi table okay and now uh okay um if you get this error with the table with the pivot table then uh, one thing that you need to check is whether this pivot table is in the um, uh, so that's under design uh, in the report layout make sure that your pivot tables are in tabular form okay uh so this uh, the zebra bi visuals work best with the uh, tabular layout of pivot tables okay um all right, so now what I've got is my hope this is the plan. And now I have you know my countries, and then I have all of the customers below the countries. It's a lot of information. Okay, and this is this is now good because it's it's on the second page, you know, where people will actually click click to, to get to a lot of information. Uh, you can have it collapsed, uh, like on the first level, only see the countries, and now okay, what's going on in my United Kingdom? Open this, and you know, I'll see all the all the details here, all of my clients, and then even if this is too much, you can then on the second level. If you here right click, you can actually also set like the top bottom end uh, to the customer field, right? So you can actually now select because you have two fields, you have this hierarchy in the table. Uh, you can select this and apply the top filter. Let's say, I don't know, top 10 customers in each country, right? Now you get this top 10 customers plus others, all right? So you see these others here. Um, if I and this is an interactive element, right? So so the Zebra BI visuals are completely interactive. So it's like um, it's like very visual uh, pivot tables on steroids, right? You can uh, expand 
collapse things, um, you know, add the slicers, add filters. And then when you when you have the filters, you know, the end users can actually just click and they will expand certain rows. Um, you can change the order of uh, columns by simply dragging them. Uh, people can sort by different criteria and, and, and so on, right? So it's very flexible and it's all just out of the box. Okay, let me change the zoom back. Okay, and of course, with um, with uh, the um, with tables like this, uh, you would typically have more comparisons, right? So maybe maybe here we can also make this table a sl slightly more. Um, um, complex, so I'll actually add my previous year as well. So this would be a more typical. Okay, and I'll get back to my pivot table, uh, my back to my back to my zebra bi table, and now you have a, a lot more columns. Now you have the previous year, you have the plan, and you have the actuals. Uh, of course, you can move them around. So previous year, actual plan, and then you have all the. Um, uh, variances that are being automatically calculated by the visual, okay? So here you see in my pivot table, I don't have any calculations like that. I, I don't, you know, uh, I don't have the uh, the growth rate um, versus previous year. I don't have uh, actual versus plan variance and, and so on. I just have the numbers, right? What Zebra BI tables visual will do, and also all the Zebra BI uh, visuals actually, they will calculate all of those variances on the fly and also make, make it completely interactive to explore them uh, and, and, and so on, right? 